Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings, I was going to do your uh, week ahead reading uh, 15th to the 21st of, uh, yeah, 15th to 21st of April 2019. For your reading guys, we're just using one card from the uh, Next World Tarot, just to have a look at what the energies you need to focus on for the week. Uh, back it up with the giant Rider Weight Tarot deck. Um, we're using just additional five cards from the Spellcasters Tarot. Just to have a look at anything else you need to focus on for the week. And finally, any other advice, three cards from the Tea Leaf Fortune cards. With that being said, my darlings, let's have a quick look, Leo, for you. Universe Spirit, what is it that Leos need to be focusing on? What do I need to focus on between the 15th and the 21st of uh of April 2019, show me. Uh, you need to focus on the Queen of Cups, the Throne of Emotion showing up here. This could be a person, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian, female, or this could simply be, you know, this could be a family member, for example, for some of you Leos uh, showing up here. This could also be about expressing yourself and opening up emotionally wise. I read the Queen of Cups in all sorts of ways. If her cup is open, she's open to stuff. She's receptive and she's open to opening up and she's open to receiving stuff from others as well. She's your two-way street with this lady. She gives and she takes. If the cup though is covered, often this is somebody who's holding back emotionally for me. But I feel that with her cup being kind of visibly open here, you need to focus on kind of just opening yourself up with this uh, Queen of Cups energy, just to being receptive to different things around you. And I also feel that you need to focus on what you truly feel. So the uh, the Queen of Cups is all about our emotions, but she's not the type of person, if the cup is open, she's not gonna shy away from stuff. And even if the cup is closed, she'll still focus on her emotions, but she doesn't need to explain it to anyone. All she needs to do is focus on it deep down for herself. So I feel that it's gonna be a really good week for focusing on your feelings and how you feel, I mean, how you really feel. This is also a good week for really digging deep as well, because the Queen of Cups is all about digging deep. And it's also about kind of connecting to your own truth. I know it's really cliche connecting to your truth, but it's true with the Queen of Cups. Uh, I've been her and I am her. I'm a Scorpio female. You know, I will often show up as the Queen of Cups, but uh, really for me, anybody, and, every, and you need to kind of, you know, focus on getting your Queen of Cups on, if you like, because she is somebody who focuses on what her truth is. Even if it's really painful, she's not afraid to go to the places that are really deep and really painful and to kind of re-examine things that she's unhappy about or things that she's done or, you know, and, and I often find with this woman that she's, you know, she's not one-sided. Like, she, if she's in the reverse, that's when you've got to worry about her because she tends to blame everything and anything on everyone else. She never looks at herself. But in the upright, the Queen of Cups always gives us a chance to look at ourselves and really kind of look at how we feel about situations around us and also just look at our own behaviour and use that as kind of like a mirror to kind of teach us how we can change and I feel that really this week is a week for because it's the throne of emotion so when these queens and kings aren't sit on their thrones they are an authority and she's an authority on emotion she's at the height she's the head of emotion so she's the person that you'll go to when you've got a problem and some of you guys might want to focus maybe with the queen of cups energy as well Leon potentially getting some counseling getting some help uh, because that's what her job is. It's to help others and it's to support others. So some of you guys might want to focus on those elements as well uh, with the Queen of Cups energy. Some of you guys might want to focus on your dreams. You might also want to focus on if you've been interested in anything like... Um, being a psychic or being a tarot reader or, uh, you know, being some form of a medium or clairvoyant. It might be that you want to concentrate on those energies this week as well, especially if you feel that you've got some form of a psychic ability as well. Uh, focus on these psychic abilities with the Queen of Cups. Let's have a look at the past of this situation. So the focus this week is the Queen of Cups. Could be a person around you. Usually it's a family member or a really close friend. Might be the focus for the week or something that you need to focus on, Leah. But it's also about you and getting to the truth and the heart of the matter with the Queen of Cups. How how do I truly feel about this? Is there anything that I can do? Because in the past, judgment, and that's a really good card to have because judgment, again, is one of those cards that says that we're digging deep and we're bringing things out that we didn't look at before. And what we're doing with the judgment energy, this is the, giving us a chance to renew the past, you know, to renew the things that have happened. It's giving us a chance to call things out. This could be in the past something also being called up to, you know, your, your destiny and your truth and your path. This is a calling with the judgment energy, but this is a time of renewal. So in the past, 
maybe there was a time of renewal maybe you were able to you know release something here with the judgment energy showing up here uh the knight of wands energy shows here so the knight of wands is all about your passion if you look at the knight of swords it's all about being driven with the knight of wands it's the same sort of thing it's also being driven to so some of you guys i feel that you have been pursuing your calling in the past because the knight of wands is very passionate and you can see he's rushing towards judgment so it's almost like he's like oh my god i've got to get on this last boat oh my god i've got to get in there i've got to get in there they're all about to go and i've got to get there so it's almost like in the past Leo, you guys have been really uh, quite focused with this Knight of Wands energy, very passionate, very driven. Uh, it's almost like you've been, almost like there's been a, 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 a magnet or some form of magnetic force that's been kind of pulling you towards your calling here because I feel you guys have been very driven to find, to explore what your calling is. You've been very, because he's very driven and he, what he's driven by, the because both Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands are driven cars, but he's very driven towards, he's very pushed, he's been pushed towards his calling. And also you've been, he's an explorer, Knight of Wands is a traveller, he's ruled by Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is all about education and exploration, whether this is physical journey or a mental journey. But this is a journey of spirit because the wands are all about our spirit so you've been on a spiritual journey here and that spiritual journey with the knight of wands energy is in terms of what you're calling you've been called to do something here and i think that you've been on a spiritual journey to find and to explore the calling whatever it is that's calling you so i feel that you have in the past leo been on a very kind of spiritual uh, journey more than anything to be perfectly honest with you looking at two and this could be in terms of you know your work the eight of coins energy showing up here and also the knight of wands is leaving behind the eight of coins so some of you guys have been very focused on leaving behind the mundanity of life doing a mundane job doing a you know a run of the mill nine to five kind of clock in clock out job with the eight of coins and you've been pursuing a calling and i feel that you have i think that you've turned your back i think in the past some of you guys said you know what? i'm really bored of doing what i'm doing it pays the bills and it's kind of like standard and, uh, you know, something that I'm always doing. But really what I want to do is I want to pursue my calling. I want to pursue the thing that gives me life and makes me feel that I'm, you know, I have a path and I have a destiny. And maybe some of you guys are wanting to serve the world and serve others. Uh, the thought the process going into this week, the next seven days, 15th to the 21st. Uh, Leo, um, oopsie daisy, uh, for some of you guys, uh, will be, uh, how you'll think about this going forward is the Queen of Coins energy. So, some of you guys looking at the money and you're looking at your resources. So, some of you guys, you're thinking, well, what do I have? What are the resources that I hold? And that, it might not necessarily be money. The coins aren't always money. It's like, what have I got in my arsenal? Some of you guys are saying, well, look, I don't want to be in a per this mundane, boring job. And I want to pursue my destiny. The Knight of Wands, a spiritual explorer. This is an explorer of something new. This is a spiritual journey you're on to do judgment, to, you know, to come out of your shell, to explore where your calling is, what the universe is calling you to do. This is all about your life path. So some of you guys have been very kind of eager with this Knight of Wands to explore your life path and to explore what your life purpose is with the judgment energy. You want to remove yourself from the mundanity of the eight of coins energy. It's not really serving a purpose for you, but you're looking at what are the resources that I hold. In other words, you're probably saying to yourself, well, what is it that I can offer? Seven of coins energy. But this is money cards showing up here as well. So some of you guys are looking at your money, your resources. You're looking at the finances in the bank with the seven of coins and saying, well, it's not that easy is it when you've got a calling when there's something that you really want to do but then you've got the bills to pay and i actually do think because there's a couple of money cards there i do actually think you guys are looking at the resources that you hold and you're looking at the money in the bank with the seven of coins energy showing here okay uh yeah another money card queen of coin king of coins energy showing here okay i think that this, there's three months it's definitely money is is on the mind concerning is there's definitely a, 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 a calling that you have, something that you want to pursue, a life path, a purpose that you Leos want to pursue in the past. But right now, the thought is, well, I'm looking at my resources with the seven, of, with the Queen of Coins energy. How much money have I saved? How much have I got in the bank with that seven of coins? And is 
it enough to stabilize me and keep me secure with the king of coins energy you know so you're wondering do i have enough money saved so i can actually do this thing because i think some of you guys either want to take time out of a job or you want to take time out of doing something really mundane or you want to either take time out or you want to leave a job completely so you can pursue something that's been your lifelong dream what's the advice from the universe what's the advice from the universe please on this for leo's the advice is leo that you need to another one the page of coins energy I feel that you need to look at what you've got with the page of coins energy, no matter how small. I think that also you need to be responsible with your money with the page of coins energy. Uh, but also look at the value of what you have with this page of coins energy uh, showing up here. So the advice is to do the page of coins energy. Strength, okay, having faith with the strength energy showing here. Uh, look at what you have, uh, page of coins, money card again, look at the value of what you've got, be responsible with your money and be strong enough to, let's have a look, yeah, be strong enough to pursue this new thing, three of wands is pursuing, it's launching, it's pursuing something new, okay, be strong enough to do that, be strong enough to pursue this new passion or this passion that you've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, Three of Wands for me is also a leaving card. He's about to get on a ship. He's waiting for his boat to come to him, you know? So be strong enough to go out there and make this a reality. Exploration, again, is the Three of Wands. You know, be strong enough. Look at what you've got with the Page of Coins. I think the advice is you have enough with the Page of Coins for some of you guys. But as long as, I think the advice with the Page of Coins, as long as you're responsible with your money with this Page of Coins energy, you know, um... Well, you know, you've got this strength card sitting there. So it's almost like it's saying the advice is be responsible with your money and have faith that you can go out there and make this a reality with the Three of Wands. Okay? Because the strength card is all about having faith as well. Have faith that you can go out there and make this a reality. Uh, you know, be responsible with the little that you have. So if you've only got, you know, a certain amount of money, maybe this is something you can do with what you have. Because strength is all about having strength and having faith and having trust. And the Three of Wands energy is all about going out there and making things happen and exploring other things. Let's quickly do this reading again. We're going to just uh, put the cards down, the camera down, the cards, Leo, and show you the, the setup. Just bear with me. Okay, guys, I think that you should be able to see that um, setup here. Okay, let me just pull these cards down a little bit. So, yeah, um, uh, Leo, uh, this is a week for uh, tapping into your feelings, the Queen of Coins. And, you know, uh, there are so many decision-making cards within the tarot. This is another one, the Queen of Cups, sorry. Um, because what she's doing, she's digging deep. I mean, way, way, way deep. She's kind of saying, ah, oh, okay, yeah, let me, get, let me get down and dirty with myself. Let me say, let me look at what my true feelings are. Let me explore what I truly feel. And I feel that this week, you need to focus on, between the 15th and the 21st, how you truly feel about a situation now the situation with this queen of coins and your feelings is all to do with the past judgment energy you guys have been you know on a spiritual journey here and what you're exploring is your so you're on a spiritual journey with the uh with the uh knight of wands and what you're exploring with the knight of wands is your purpose what what is your calling remember this is a card about your calling so you're exploring your life purpose you're exploring you know where your destiny and your fate lie because the universe is calling you to do something and you are on a spiritual journey you're exploring this the back is turned to the eight of coins so i think that some of you guys are kind of like ugh. You know, I'm doing a job, it's nine to five, or I'm doing a job, it's really mundane. And what I really want to do in the past, you said, I want, I'm, I'm on this spiritual journey now where I'm really exploring what my calling is. What is my benefit in the world? How is it, what can I do in the world that brings satisfaction to me and potentially to others? Now, going uh, into the week, your thoughts will be on the money aspect of this. Because some of you guys are going to be like, well, let me look at my resources. How much money do I have? How much money have I saved with the seven of coins energy? You know, or how much money have I saved through my job, for example, here? Is this going to allow me to go and be secure and stable while I explore my, you know, my life purpose? So some of you guys are saying, well, let me look at my bank account. Look at, let me look at my resources. How much money I've saved with the seven of coins energy and whether this is going to allow me to, you know, just take time of work or whatever it is and sit back and kind of not sit back, but 
be secure financially, whether this is going to bring me financial security so that I can go out and explore my, you know, my passions and my destiny and my life purpose. The advice from the universe is with the Page of Coins energy. I think it's it, Page of Coins is always to be and act responsible. I think number one, the advice is act responsibly with this Page of Coins with the money that you've got. So you can see that you've got probably with the Page of Coins just enough to get by. So the advice is if you're responsible, you are going to be in a very strong position, I feel, with the strength energy to go out there and explore this, this destiny that you have here. Okay, I feel it's just saying if you're responsible with your cash, the advice is if you're responsible with what you've got, you might not be rich, Leah, but if you, what you've got and you've got enough, if you're responsible and you're careful with it, which is what the page of coins is, you're going to be in a very strong position with this strength energy to go out there and explore this purpose, this life purpose of yours. Okay, as long as, but this is going to require you. Not to dress in rags, Leo, but it's going to require you that you're not going to be able to go out and spend tons and tons of money. So if you're used to kind of going out and kind of, you know, spending money and buying nice things and nice clothing and nice shoes, this will be kind of like, you know, from riches to rags in a way, because that's the rags card is the page of coins. It's the card where we've only got a little bit of money and we've got to be careful with the little bit we've got. And the universe is saying, well, my advice to you is, Leo, if you're careful with your money, if you're responsible, you will be in a very strong position to go out there and explore this new this life purpose this spiritual journey and life purpose you know you will be in that position but it's going to require that you're going to have to kind of you know uh, be really careful with the money all right really careful with what you spend all right really careful with it you're not going to be able to go out and buy all these luxuries because if you're really you know, it's all about whether you're serious. And that's why the universe is saying you need to focus on what your true feelings are. If you're really serious about this spiritual exploration of your life purpose, then, you know, you need to focus on the Queen of Cups. You need to really get down and dirty with yourself. How do you feel not being able to, you know, spend as much money on shoes or clothes or going out or eating or, you know, having a good time in the week? And how serious are you? And that's really what it's telling you to do. Focus on how you truly, truly feel. Because if you feel really that you can't give up certain things in this, then maybe this isn't your life purpose. It depends on what it means to you. So really, this is a week for revising your emotions and saying, well, how important is a certain path that I'm taking really important to me? And, you know, am I willing to sacrifice certain things for it? Let's have a quick le uh, look, Leo, at your... Um, let's have a quick look at your five-card reading. Uh, let's put this away here. Okay, so Universe Spirit, in five cards, anything else you can see coming in for Leo? In five cards, anything else you can see coming in for Leo for the week? Uh, in five cards, 15th to the 21st of uh, April. So a look. Uh, right, you do have the King of Coins in the reverse. Some of you guys, it's a loss of status, or it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn individual leaving, perhaps. Uh, kings reverse, usually kings, queens reverse, they've left, they've gone. This can also be losing money or losing a substantial amount of money or losing status. Let's have a look here. The next card to show up. Hang on a minute. Is that right? No, it's not. It's not. Sorry. Oh, is it right or is it not right? Which way up is this? Sorry, I'm getting confused. No, I did. I turned it round the right way. Uh, Knight of Swords reversed shows up here. Let's have a look at the other ones. Uh, why have you got all reversals? Is that you've got all reversals? That is really weird. Let me just have a look at this again. So, uh, let's have a look. Uh, all reversals. Yeah, they're reversed. I'm shocked that they're reversed. You've got one, two, three. I don't know why they're all reversed. Uh, four and um, five. Okay. All reversed. I don't understand why they're reversed, but they are. And they've got a story to tell you as being reversed. Well, sorry, guys, but that's what they are. That's what they've come up with. Loss of status, money, wealth, somebody leaving, Knight of Swords, energy. But the Knight of Swords, energy, is this is not in full flight. So if you have had financial problems, I think, with the, the Knight of, King of Swords, uh, King of Pentacles, reverse. I think that there's, a, there's an abrupt stop to this. Because the Knight of Swords, reverse, is all about things coming to a stop standstill so i think this is kind of like you're having some respite in terms of finances this is a good combination i feel here 
Two of Cups falling out. Some of you guys had a falling out with a person, a King of Swords reverse. Two of Cups reverse is a falling out, separation. You either separated from somebody who was a liar, somebody who didn't have a lot of morals with a King of Swords reverse, or you're falling out with somebody, a friend, could be an... Uh, uh, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who didn't have many morals here. Uh, Page of Wands, reverse, you're not going to hear from this person, okay? Uh, I think that if you're waiting to hear from an individual, somebody that you're falling out with here, I think you're not going to hear from them. Page of Wands in the reverse is where there's no message, there's no communication. I don't think you're going to hear from this. If you've had a falling out with uh, somebody who lacks morals or tells lies or is indecisive with the king of swords in the reverse i don't think you'll hear from this person if you're waiting to hear from somebody like this and you're falling out with them uh leo you're probably not going to hear from them okay uh but also i think with money if you've lost money for example i feel that it, especially if uh, you've got uh interest that's accruing king of pentacles in the reverse interest that's really accruing quite largely i think a, a, a block will be put on any interest accruing showing here if you've lost money, if it's a loss of status or a loss of wealth, it's more than likely I think a loss of wealth, I think that's going to abruptly come to an end, all right? Uh, especially if you've been giving money to this dude here. Maybe you fell out with somebody here that you've given money to. That's coming to an end. You're not giving anything else. You're not giving anything away from your fortune anymore to somebody here. It's going to come to a, an abrupt end, I think. Uh, falling out with an individual here. Uh, King of Swords reversed, whoever that dude is, uh, you're not going to hear from that person and I certainly think that you're not going to contact them either, Leo. Alright, let's have a quick look at your, um, let's have a quick look finally at the three tea leaf cards, uh, Universe Spirit tea leaves, three cards for the week for Leo, 15th to the 21st please, three cards, show me. Uh, right, shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. That king of coins in the reverse, very similar to that. What else can you tell Leo's in another card for the week? Vase, but however you do have a secret admirer. And let's have a look at the final card for Leo. Shield, you need to defend yourself though, okay? So yeah, be careful. Uh, it's saying take care uh, or there will be uh, a loss of material wealth. You definitely need to defend yourself, I think, for some of you guys against something. However, you might need to defend yourself against a secret admirer. Maybe they're no good for you. Or it could simply be, as an addition, a sweetener for the week, you've got a secret admirer. All right, that's your reading, guys. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.